Hello Achieving World, my name is John. Thanks for joining me today on Stubble Meets Steel. Today I wanted to compare the Razor Rocks BBS Standard version and the Lupo Aluminum. As you can see, I have a stainless steel handle on there. I prefer it with the stainless steel handle. This is equivalent to the Lupo 58 as far as the head is concerned. And I recently picked up the Game Changer 68 and I noticed while looking at the Razor Scale that Razor Rock provides, they consider the Lupo more aggressive than the BBS. And I don't remember that being the case. I remember the BBS, even this is the standard, the mild one as they call it. I remember this being more aggressive. So I found that interesting and I didn't really see any reviews comparing these two. I saw a lot of reviews comparing the Lupo to the Game Changer or BBS to the Game Changer. So I thought this would be a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get lathered up and we'll uh, see what uh, how these two shave head to head. Uh, for blades today. I've chosen the Gillette 7 o'clock, the st Super Stainless, which is the one in the green package. I recently started trying these. I got it as a sample from a guy on eBay. Uh, I'll put his information down in the uh, box below. Uh, he's a great seller. He offers a small pack, so if you just want to try one particular blade, you don't have to pay a bunch for shipping, and uh, he ships real quick. So today's soap, I'm going to be using uh, Razor Rocks Motor Fokker for our brush. We're going to be using Razor Rocks Big Bruce, which is a 26 millimeter synthetic knot. I'm going to go ahead and get lathered up and I'll be right back with you, gents. All right, everyone, I'm back. We got everything all lathered up and I did a kind of a two part shave today. I did a face lather video that I'll link in the information. If you're interested in that, you can click below and watch how to face lather. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in. So here is the Game Changer Aluminum with a stainless steel handle. This is, would be the equivalent to the 0.58. And we've got a Gillette 7 o'clock blade in there. This is my width of grain pass. I didn't shave yesterday, so we got about one and a half days of growth or so. Yeah, I just found it really interesting that Razor Rock considers the Lupo 58 more aggressive than the BBS standard. So I got the BBS back from my dad. It's actually his razor. He also has a Lupo aluminum. He likes the Lupo better than the BBS. And that's what he uses, so he didn't mind letting me borrow this. BBS. Not a big fan of stainless steel blades, but I gotta say these seven o'clock green super stainless blades are quickly becoming one that I'm probably gonna be buying a bunch of. All right, BBS with its crazy head geometry. Let's go to the other side. Seems smoother if I go the opposite way of riding the cap, point the handle more parallel with my face. That's smoother than I remember. I find it interesting that the longer I shave with DE razors, the ones that I originally considered aggressive seem to be becoming less and less aggressive. But I will say, just on that first pass anyways, to me it felt a little more blade feely on the BBS.
All right. Pretty good first pass. Let's go for our second pass. Got tons of soap on the brush. The ear goes on this brush are fantastic. It just feels so nice in the hand. If your hands get wet, it's a little tough to hold on to because it doesn't have any ridges or any line or anything on it, but it's still very, very nice to hold. I can see why the guy Bruce loved the loved the handle so much and asked Razorock if they could make it in a 26 mil knot for him. Kind of pasty, let's add a little water. A little better. Off the thick today for some reason. There we go. Pass number two. Lupo felt nice right there. That's usually my least favorite pass right there with this Lupo. That seven o'clock blade was a good pairing for this. Yeah, see the angle, it likes to be more like this versus out like that. I find it's a little smoother, more parallel I get. Normally if you ride the top cap, razors smooth out. So moral of story, don't be afraid to play with an angle of a razor. They all are a little bit different. They all like a little bit different sweet spot. I've been mixing it up a little bit. Instead of going with, across, and against the grain, I've been going against the grain on my second pass, and I'm finding sometimes I get a little bit better shave that way, that I have a less cleanup on this area right here. So I'm gonna do that again today, see how it goes. I will say that I still do like to go across the grain and then against the grain on the um, under the mustache area. I find that by going across the grain definitely gets the growth down a little bit more than when I go back into the against the grain. It's definitely smoother on the mustache pass anyways, but everywhere else, I kind of like it going against the grain on the second pass instead of the last. The Lupo seems like it's a little bit easier to find that angle. I don't have to work at it quite as much. If you were to use the BBS by itself all the time, it's not hard to find at all, but 
just comparing the two, I find it easier to just jump right in with the Lupo. Lupo's pretty good with that super thin head. That super thin head profile to get under the nose easily. Definitely gets under there a lot easier than this one does, the BBS. That crazy shape makes it hard to get those little corners in there. All right. That was a nice pass. Let's go in for what is now gonna be our, my last pass. Cross the grain. I saw somebody mention that the BBS and the Mamba with their radical head angle, the way they really curve the blade and put a lot of torque on it, that that tends to give them a little bit of irritation. And I don't know if it's because it makes the blade so rigid, the way that they have the blade kind of locked in there and the blade doesn't move at all. If the blade being so rigid is what can kind of irritate the face a little bit, but I definitely noticed it more when I first started shaving. So I haven't used the Mamba in a while. I've actually got it up for sale if anybody's interested. It's too mild for me, even the 70. I saw they came out with a more aggressive Mamba now, but I'm good. Got a little more water. There we go, now I start to feel that nice cushion. I know it's hydrated enough anyways, especially on this last pass. I could keep adding water, but I won't bore everybody. All right, towel fell down. All right, across the green. I will say I love the efficiency of the Lupo right there. This particular area on my chin line can be hard to get. I usually have to do a couple passes on a lot of razors. The Lupo gets it pretty damn nice. See the Lupo, even when I change around with the angles a little bit, I feel that it works on pretty much almost any angle, really. You don't have to work hard to find a good angle for it. I tried the HD handle that Razor Rock offers on this one. It's 82 millimeters long, and boy, it's really, really nice. It sits just perfect in the hand like that, where it sits on your pinky, and that little knurled radio knob part on the bottom is fantastic to grab onto for your against the grain passes. As much as I do like the look of the UFO, I almost want to say I like the extra thickness and heft and feel of the HD handle. I'm glad I tried it. They had a crazy sale on them the other day. It was like $8 or something, $8.99. Hard to beat a stainless steel handle for that price. Not bad under the mustache if you get that angle, like I said, pretty parallel. Felt pretty good there.
All right. I'd have to say the Lupo definitely seems like I got a lot more here. I don't have to do a cleanup pass in here at all, down here at least. Maybe a tiny bit right there. But with the BBS side, there's definitely more hair here and some right here. So would I say that the Lupo is more aggressive? No, I would not. I can see why I thought from memory that the BBS was more aggressive than the Lupo. It's because it's harder to find the angle with it. So if you don't find that sweet spot of the angle, I don't want to say that it feels aggressive, but you do feel the blade more. All right, happy with that. So I will make everybody hang around. I'll just go ahead and hop right into the review. Do I like the Lupo better? Do I like the BBS better? I would say kind of overall, I still think that I like the Lupo a little bit better. Easier to get under the nose with that profile. The angle to work with is pretty much idiot proof. I can pretty much hold it at any different angle I want and it doesn't really seem like it changes the shave all that much. Uh, easy to get under the nose with the mustache pass. It wasn't overly aggressive. Definitely more efficient in here and in here for me. Cleaned up a lot more. So I'll agree with the efficiency rating uh, as far as the Lupo being more efficient than the BBS. But as far as aggressiveness or blade feel, I would say that there's a little more feel and a little bit harder to work with the BBS versus the Lupo. You know, I personally don't like the Lupo aluminum with the aluminum handle. I find that it wants to kind of chatter, maybe skip. I don't know if that's blade chatter or if the razor itself is skipping due to the lighter weight, but when I find that when I put the extra weight of a stainless steel handle, all those characteristics I don't like of the aluminum Lupo are better that way. Um, but you know, price-wise, the Lupo aluminum's I think gone up now. I think it's $40 where the BBS I wanna say is like 65 being all stainless. So, you know, you could always buy a Lupo and then even get the handle and still be about, uh, you know, a little bit less than the price of the BBS. So that's my review for today, gentlemen. I think the uh, Lupo is the winner. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I would like everybody to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's uh, channel. And uh, I'll be back soon. I think I'm going to do a how to do a thumb wheel adjustable. Should you adjust it up or should you adjust it down? And then I'd like to do a couple other reviews coming up soon. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Thank you. Take care.